first smoke in a really nice, I think, Melvin Sayers pipe. He's from Ireland. I saw a couple of his uh, pipes up on eBay. And uh, I don't know, I was just kind of drawn to it. So sometimes you just say, I don't need another pipe, but... Gee, I sure do like that pipe. <laughs> and unfortunately, my little vinyl bit is covering up some really nice striped uh, pattern in the acrylic bit. It has a little outward taper there on the bit. Melbourne, or Sayers Pipes, I remember. <clears throat> I noticed his uh, smoke hole through the shank is smaller than my usual uh, 530 seconds. I'm thinking what that is in millimeters, I just can't remember. <clears throat> so it's a size smaller than that. So we'll see how that works. My experience has been uh, that. You know, drilling that out in any pipe, any cheap pipe, really uh, improves the smokability of the pipe. So, so we'll see. I sure do like it though. Came in this nice mesh bag. You know, mostly the bags are throwaway, but this is just this is cool. Good job, Melvin. Very nice. Very nice. So I'm smoking um, an older can of uh, Burley London Blend from Mac Baron, which I actually like. I This is the first smoke in this pipe, so I wanted to make it kind of neutral. Um, I think there is a top, a topping to this, the very special top flavor, <laughs> in combination with the tobacco to give you a very distinct smoking flavor. What does that say? Not much use the language to obscure. So. So anyway, I'm back home. I was gone for not quite a week on a wildland fire in eastern Washington. <clears throat> so there'll be a little footage after this part uh, of the trip over and the trip back and there a little bit. Not much. But a little bit. Then when I got back yesterday, there was a big beach fire that took all day, so, oh well. Pretty much only the 1st of June, or July. So we have all of July and August to go, and then in mid-September. So I'm sure it'll be a record setter. Oh yeah. But it's good to be home. <clears throat> Catching up on emails and all that stuff. But here was this box with this pipe in there. It's always fun. I got here quicker than I thought. It's a small world. I can tell you. Kind of a small uh, chamber there. But it's deep enough that um, it has some capacity and it seems to burn well. I like those taller billiard shapes with a reasonable uh, width. I think they actually combust the best. So anyway, I wish everybody could uh, do a wildland fire to because it is, it is really fun. I got the call at 9 p.m. <clears throat> on Friday. Got to the packed and everything. Uh, got to the station to pick up the tender at 10. Caught the 11.05 ferry across Puget Sound. Got to fire camp 
just before 6 in the morning. Then worked 13 hours that day. Then uh, like 13 and a half the next day, 14 the next day. So they're long days, but um, it's such a unique environment. My voice still isn't back to normal. <clears throat> all that dust, all that smoke. Just, uh, you know, it brings all kinds of people together. All kinds of people. And everybody gets along. Isn't it amazing? You eat dinner with them, you work with them. It's just very cool. I really like it. And you're doing the community some good too. Nice pipe, Melvin. Very nice. Look him up all, uh, he's got an Etsy page. And I think that's where he does most of his, his business through. So, uh, I'll post that up. Very nice. I like the shape. Yeah. Big enough, not too big. Nice wood. It's just got a nice feel to it. And it smokes really nice. There may come a time when I might uh, enlarge the smoke hole. We'll see. So I didn't smoke while I was at fire camp. I mean, when I was on that fire. It just is so dry. It would be unseemly to smoke. <laughs> and I just never need to smoke, you know. I mean, it's not a nicotine habit or anything, so... And at fire camp, they did have... Uh, a little smoking area right next to a dumpster. <laughs> dirt, you dirt. If you smoke, you're trash. So that was the message there. And I brought some pipes and some tobacco. We just didn't have them. You know, I normally dislike burly blends, but this one I actually, I kind of like when I want something kind of light and a little nutty and um, not too strong. It's just been almost two weeks since it smoked. Tastes nice. So kind of cloudy day here. Actually, it was kind of light raining in some parts of Puget Sound. So I'm hoping we'll get a little bit of drier dust, drier than a spaghetti western. But it's summer. So also, <clears throat> with this wonderful little Irish pipe, Nice little note, personalized, and then a tamper, very nice, which is a good idea because the bowl is actually pretty small, about as big as my little finger, so well, I can't carry that around. Nice idea. Good smoking pipe. I like how it looks. I like how it feels. 
Just very nice. So if you're interested in this style of pipe, I'd say give Mr. Sayers a, a look-see. Absolutely. Five thirty in the morning. Here's the water tender on Highway 231 in Washington State. Big empty wheat country. So I've been driving all night. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of par for the course. So. We'll get going today, I'm sure, and uh, work the fire. So, in fact, I think I see smoke up there from it. So, we're getting closer. So, that is one side of the 231 fire over near Spokane, Washington. Well, Spokane's an hour away. No other big towns around though. So I am doing water supply. Yeah. <coughs> I'm doing weather and being a lookout. So it's fun. Yeah, I'm good. 